Hey everyone, welcome to Scrap of Pals YouTube channel. It's Jeannie here with you today to share a card using a couple of Honeybee stamp items. I'm using the Enjoy the Ride stamp set, Paris Skyline Scene Builder, and the Whimsical Heart Stencil. To start off, I am die cutting the Eiffel Tower out of the Paris Skyline Scene Builder out of black cardstock. I kind of wanted to do a nighttime scene card where the Eiffel Tower is a silhouette in the background of these two little bunnies on a scooter. So I'm stamping the bunnies directly onto my A2 cardstock and I will be using Gina K's Masking Magic to stamp an additional image on it to create a mask. Originally, the idea behind the scene card was to mask off this bunny, but I encountered some crafty issues that led me to change course later on. But for now, I am removing the mask and I will be placing it directly onto the A2 cardstock so I can mask off to color up my background. Anytime I have a very heavy background scene card, I will tend to use Distress Oxide inks or Distress inks to color it up just because I don't really like blending Copics on an entire background and also that's a lot of ink to use. And because Copics are kind of expensive, I tend to just use the inks. These inks are awesome and they last forever and you can get pretty cheap refills to fill it up. You can create so many different backgrounds with these inks. I drew in some lines because I wanted to create a scene where the bunnies are on the road and the Eiffel Tower is in the background. So I needed to create a bit of dimension so it looks like a sidewalk and then you can step onto the sidewalk and walk over to the Eiffel Tower. My scenes are usually very simple and just require some lines and this was an easy way to create it. So I'm masking off the first part of the bottom of the card which is the road that the bunnies are on. I am using Hickory Smoke Distress Ink along with black soot for a little bit of dimension and I'll carefully pull up that Gina K masking magic so I can move on to my next section. The next section is just the sidewalk view and I will be masking off only the top portion. I would normally mask off the bottom portion that I just inked up as well but I didn't really need that crisp line because I will be going in with a pen just to mark off those lines to make it more definitive but because it's just part of the sidewalk I didn't really think that I needed to do that. Here I am masking off both the top and bottom because I am going in to create a grassy area. My mode lawn ink was very juicy and so the colors came out a lot darker than expected and I just went with it. So once I did that I will remove it and then I will mask off the entire bottom portion and work on the sky. For the sky itself, I decided that I wanted to use Distress Offside inks. I wanted a sunset sky so I went from blues to pinks and purples and I thought it would be really pretty. So I'm using speckled egg, worn lipstick, and wilted violet. It's one of those skies that I think are cotton candy skies. I just did three strips of color and I thought that really worked once I got everything blended out. For the background I wanted to add a little bit more texture and fun to it so I decided to pull out Gina K's glitter gel and I am using it with the whimsical stencil from Honeybee Stamps. This is really interesting to use because this is a glitter gel that's a little bit wet and because it's wet and because I'm putting it on top of Distress Oxide inks it kind of lifted the color so you'll see in the finished card that my purple sky has pink hearts and I thought that was a cool effect so that ended up happening. It does create some problems with the mask later on and I'll walk you through that. For the sentiments I decided to stamp using Versamark ink and I added Gina K's white embossing powder and I'm heat setting them. I'll trim these two sentiments down and I'll set them aside to use for later. So here is where I kind of ran into the issue with the Gina K glitter gel. It is wet and so it kind of seeped through my mask and you'll see the imprints on the green grass. It kind of created a heart imprints which we'll fix later on. But it did create an issue for my mask generally, especially for the bunny ears and the bunny face because the glitter gels were directly on top. I had a hard time taking these masks off and the glitter gel, although dry, it kind of wanted to stick to the mask. And while I was pulling off these masks, even though I was being super careful, 
I had accidentally removed one of the masks for the ears and so I just really couldn't justify coloring directly on the card panel which I normally would prefer to do because I like masking. I just stamped another image on another piece of white cardstock and I'm coloring it directly there. I'll go ahead and fussy cut this image and place it directly on top and you'll never know the difference. If this is something that you rather do instead of the masking part, go right ahead. You can just die cut this image and place it right on top. I just have a tendency to like masking for my scene cards because it just looks more clean to me but that's just a personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and color up these two little bunnies that are on a scooter. I think that they are so adorable. They're going on a ride in Paris and I am very jealous of their adventure right now. I miss traveling a lot and I just really want to be able to go somewhere that's not walking distance or driving distance. I really want to get on a plane and fly. So hopefully soon we'll be able to do that and I can also go to Paris just like these little bunnies. For all my Copic coloring, I am using about three colors per area. I will go ahead and use my darkest color and put down where I think all the shadow areas are. Then I will blend it out with my mid-tone Copic marker and then I will go in with my lightest one to blend everything out. So for bunnies and critters in general, I tend to use the warm gray colors. For items, I tend to use my cool gray colors, for like for the tires. For the scooter itself, I really wanted to tie in that sky, so I decided to use this purple combination. And sometimes with purples and reds, they're really hard to blend. And although this combination really works well for me, sometimes I do go in a second time to add that mid-tone and blend everything out again. So if your coloring doesn't blend out very well at the first pass, you can always come back in with the second pass and get that blend. So I had a little bit of issues around that little second tire. And so I go in with the, the mid-tone purple just to add a little bit more dimension and blend everything out once again. And it really worked out. For some parts of the scooter, I wanted it to look white. And anytime I want it to look white, but keep a dimensional look, I will use cool grays. I went in with the C3 and then blended it out to a C00. And that is it for the coloring. So I went ahead and fuzzy cut that off camera and I will be adhering it to the card. You can see that the bunny, the second bunny ear is kind of covered up with that glitter gel. I was kind of disappointed that it didn't work out because I do love removing a mask and getting a super clean image right underneath and this is a perfect fix for any issues that you might have or if you don't like masking. For the scene itself that I created, I just went in with a black pen and drew in the three lines to add more definition to the sidewalk and the grassy area. For the grassy area itself, you can see that the images of the hearts kind of seeped through with the glitter gel. So I am going in with my Copic markers and just adding blades of grass. This really worked out because it added texture to the card itself. There was so much going on in the sky with the glitter and the hearts and the ground was kind of just smooth and boring. So adding the blades of grass to the green area really added that wow effect I thought to the card. For the silhouette, I am just adding liquid adhesive. I'm using Honey Bee Precision Glue to glue everything to the card. And I tend to use liquid adhesive when there is any texture on my background because I need something for it to cling to. You can use foam, but I have a tendency to find that foam kind of just wants to remove itself from the glitter and doesn't stick very well. So I added the two sentiments and I decided to go in with an extra detail of adding a shadow underneath the scooters just to give it more realistic look. So I just went in with some light cool grays and that is it for today's card. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!